Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. All systems are a go. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Eclipse season, Mercury retrograde. I'm talking about it because, as I always say, some people, the post shadow of Mercury retrograde can be a lot. Things are getting back on track for you, okay? Um, you may be finding yourself still kind of navigating through some murky waters, and it's okay. But things that have been delayed um, with communication, with finances, offers, opportunities... Things are about to finally switch and change here. The Two of Swords, yeah. There's a stalemate energy here that's being cleared out, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is still here. So you may have been stuck at a crossroads trying to figure out which path you wanted to take. You may not have seen something. Spirit is saying, though, you need to walk by faith and not by sight. Right now, I just saw 222. So definitely choices and decisions um, here, okay? A lot of decision making. Yeah, and here's the page of pentacles and the page of wands. There is an offer or an opportunity here um, that is being presented to you. Oh, four of wands. Wow. So somebody here, you could be receiving um, a major offer at work, um, starting a business. There was an energy like this that came out, I believe, yesterday as well. Um this could be a serious relationship, a marriage, an engagement. Someone could be getting a new house, new apartment, or whatever the case is. But after being stagnant for quite some time, you're going to have something to celebrate coming in. Let's just go ahead. Oh, the tower. That's divine intervention. You have some kind of epiphany or revelation about something that is really, really clearing your path for you. Also, there's been different people that have been in your energy in any type of way with any type of malice, envy, jealousy, um, competition or anything like that. This could be in the workplace, in your friend group. I'm seeing a lot of synchronicities. I usually don't even look at the camera, but I just looked up and it was 333. Um, the power of three, your manifestation power, I feel like is... Like I said, all systems are a go. It's really, really good. But those people who have perhaps used the power of three, where three or more have gathered together to come against you, their energy is really being cleared out. Yeah, there, there's an energy there for sure. It has to go. Then the King of Cups is here. Heavy Scorpio energy. So some of you, there were things that were happening perhaps around like the full moon in Scorpio, which was like the during like the first week of May, if I'm not mistaken. You could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio heavily aspected in your chart or be dealing with someone that's a Scorpio. Um, but it, it, the Scorpio as a sign, though, represents death, transformation, rebirth, um, four of wands here. So there is an ending. There's a tower moment and an ending here that's bringing about a huge celebration for you. Okay, um, th there's an ending of, like I said, some type of chaos and conflict being in your energy. I've been talking a lot about that Jezebel-like energy, that um, Jezebel energy trying to do a lot to people in the collective. But what is driving that Jezebel spirit is these very narcissistic people that surround many of us. Okay, that energy is being purged out or you come into some kind of revelation or or had an epiphany about um a, a narcissistic trait that is in within someone maybe even yourself a, a lot of people have narcissistic traits it doesn't mean that you are a narcissist it's do you have the power though to get control of your ego or this could be a, someone around you but people who are surrounding you who embody this energy and allow the spirit of Jezebel to come in and try to manipulate you and, and gang stalk you, gang up on you, team up on you, to keep you stuck, to silence you and, and all of those terrible things that the enemy so often tries to do. That's being purged completely out. And the King of Cups is here. You needed to go through this situation because the King of Cups is someone who is very, very loving, caring, kind, um, an honorable person. But it's also someone who is extremely emotionally intelligent.
in the recent past we have the eight of wands and the nine of swords so this is like i said something here with like that mercury energy communication something was supposed to take off really really fast and then it went into a period of stress fear and anxiety so someone here could have been having anxiety about whether or not something was going to move for a business proposal opportunity a relationship a job offer or something like that and you were met with some type of um conflict here something that gave you fear or anxiety something was moving about really really good there was a temporary pause or standstill here or for some of you it may be coming up you don't need to allow it to um bother you too much because just as quickly as as we see here the eight of wands the nine of swords just as quickly as it happens then the tower comes in let me put these so you can see them a little better the tower the tower comes in so whatever was here in the recent past it was moving about and then it got stressful or you it became a nightmare you could say divine intervention has come in so right now in your headspace um, as above nine of wands is here you could be feeling a little bit paranoid but it's saying to keep going because you are still receiving an offer this page of cups is also saying have a bit of grace with yourself forgive yourself for something here all right somebody could be wanting to um apologize to you for something okay you can accept the person's apology but first be sure to forgive yourself accepting a person's apology still doesn't mean though that they have to have access to you there's something in your headspace concerning some type of offer or a gesture from someone that you are apprehensive about the ten of cups so like i said right now in your environment you may be juggling a lot with your household with your friends your family and just trying to have emotional contentment and happiness within yourself and creating that around you the ten of cups is here with the, the two of pentacles you may find yourself also right now trying to figure out again how to create this fulfilling life that you want and that, that can be a little bit hard because obviously with the energies here there's two number nines here okay you have eight nine and ten here something here is is happening but it has to happen in divine order and what's coming in the future is the knight of cups okay so so far we have the page of cups the king of cups the knight of cups so something like i said is advancing so somebody could have been in their head about making an offer, whether it's romantic or professional, whatever it is. Somebody was in their head about making an offer, possibly due to something that left them wounded in the past. So with this recent energy that we've been in, a lot of people have been reflecting and being very nostalgic about the past. When you think about the past, you think about the good, bad, the evil, and ugly. Something here was moving about. It could have for sure been like a, a romantic offer or something like that. And all of a sudden, someone got afraid. Someone got afraid because as they were revisiting the past, they could have lowered their vibration at some point and it allowed some type of outdated thinking or self-limiting beliefs to slip in and it made someone more prone to being attacked perhaps by like their Jezebel spirit. Sometimes when you have to go back to heal a situation, you have to relive that experience. I'm getting here where like someone has had to go back and relive an experience, but you weren't forced to stay there you had to go back to figure out exactly how you're going to get out of a wow confirmation the star the knight of cups and the star so somebody is coming to you saying yeah i'm healed or yes i think that you're healed and we need to move forward because here's the four of wands oh my goodness the four of wands underneath it is the empress yeah we can do this now we can do this now what i just say seven of wands six of cups block out your past if this is a relationship, this is two people on a soul level, both agreeing, let, let's go back and let's heal our family issues. Let's block out the karmic energies. You get rid of the Jezebel in your life. I get rid of the Jezebel in my life and let's do this. Okay, I'm ready now to take action for a relationship, for a partnership, for let's start this business. Let's build this house. Let's, let's move in together. Let's travel the world together. Whatever this is. Somebody is saying, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to be in a relationship. I'm ready to get married. I'm ready to start a family. I'm ready to accept the fact that I'm chosen. And yeah, I have to break some things off of my bloodline. I'm ready now. That's why I heard all systems are a go. It's time. Move. Move. There, there's the turbulence, the delays. It's over. Move. And if you still feel like it's there, it's an illusion. Move. Just keep moving. Four of Wands, the Empress. Yeah, Seven of Wands here. 
Six of Cups, somebody is blocking something out from their past to make way for someone to move forward. The King of Wands is taking action. He's looking at this relationship saying, yes, all systems are a go. I'm going for it. I'm ready. Somebody knows if, if this is a relationship, if this is love, somebody knows that either you're the one for them or whatever the case is. Somebody knows. Somebody knows exactly who their divine feminine is. They know. But they had to go back and, and deal with the situation. They had, Something had to be handled. And either you, you, you may have told this person this or on a soul level, you had to communicate to this person and let them know with the Queen of Swords here, hey, you're going to have to make a decision. And if we're going to move forward together or if you're going to come into my life, because some of you, you haven't even met this person, you cannot bring baggage to me. You can't bring you can't bring your karmic debts here because someone here has already paid karmic debts. All systems are a go. Your karmic debts or someone else's karmic debts have been paid. And someone is saying, yeah, we can have this Ten of Cups, but there's a progression here. If something started out really small, it could have been just flirting or a talk about a business opportunity or going out on a date, meeting someone new. King of Cups, somebody in this process of being set back, held back, and, and returning to the past to understand about the past and to see their truth, they fell in love. Or someone has become emotionally intelligent and, and has become spiritually enlightened and evolved enough now to say, yeah, well, I know that I am still sort of battling like a situation from my past, but I do see happiness going forward. Something here is indeed, it's destined, it's wish fulfillment, the star is here. It offers a great deal of healing and somebody there saying, I want it. I'm very passionate now about this partnership or this relationship. Now that I have blocked out something here. Okay. Somebody could have had to block something out even with the, um, this in their home or their family because the empress is here that's the mother and the four of wands someone here may have had to block out like an old spouse or um yeah definitely it could have been like a, a, a spouse someone you know divorce or separation or something like that there could have still been some baggage there someone is finally getting rid of that someone also could have even had to put up boundaries with a parental figure because someone is saying no Somebody is is putting somebody is is fighting for a divine feminine, and I feel like a divine feminine is also fighting to get themselves out of a situation that may be blocking a particular masculine from coming their way. So this is two different people on a divine path, most likely. Who, like I said, they've had to go back and 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 rewrite their narrative by fixing something from their past, whether it was emotional issues from friends, family, previous lovers, or whatever. So let's see what this is because something was moving about but i feel like um there was a system sh I, <laughs> system shutdown somebody was like oh crap I, it, it, if this is love too for somebody this love it became overwhelming for somebody because it, it's the real deal somebody's like oh crap i can't just play around with this it was going about fast i feel like somebody was like hey we need to slow down because there's an energy of being very intentional. Why is this eight of wands? What's going on in the past? The eight of wands, nine of swords. Somebody could have also been um, struggling with trying to figure out something about travel or transportation. I told you. There's the, the empress in the recent past. Baby, somebody ran into this empress and got scared. Somebody was like, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. But they want this divine feminine by any means necessary. Five of swords, the queen of cups, and then the nine of pentacles. Now, for some people too, this empress is, again, this is a wife or a mother. Could be someone, because this is the past position. This could be somebody from the past. Something was moving about, and then all of a sudden, this wife or this mother or ex-lover or whomever, they popped up on the scene, and it caused some type of disconnect or discord in some type of connection that is destined to move forward. And somebody has to get out of this by any means necessary. Somebody's like, no, I, I cannot let this past situation or mother figure 
past lover or homer. I can't let this get in the way of this queen of cups. Because see, out here we have the king of cups. And the king of cups is here with the tower. So right now, the king of cups is getting rid of everything that's in his in his way right now from getting towards this queen of cups who most likely is this empress but i do feel like for some people this is two different energies this is for some people two energies there is an empress here that was blocking a connection um interesting i'm like somebody there could be a um a wife or a mother to someone who carries like a jezebel spirit Queen of Cups is here, but somebody here is very, very self-sufficient, abundant. They know exactly what they want. And I feel like here you have this masculine that is like, hey, I want to come in and really build something with you. But again, the Divine Feminine is telling this masculine, but you got to get rid of, you got to get rid of uh, Jezebel over there. This made this masculine have a real wake up call like oh okay so i really can't move towards that person and still have this other person in my life or in my energy this person is now coming into divine feminine saying hey let me let me take let me pull the wool from over your eyes i'm i'm, I'm really in love with you this person had to make some moves though to get somebody out of their life and out of their energy yeah, it's a lot of chaos and conflict and confusion here. This is a Jezebel energy. And somebody had to go within to do some healing, had to walk away, maybe go back in time, go handle a situation, and now they're balanced out. Somebody, look, somebody had to go back and balance the past. But see, what the enemy was hoping was that when someone went back to ba balance out the past, that somebody was going to forgive, forget, and restart the past. Somebody went to, to the past to... Cancel it out. Somebody was hoping that a person would go back to the past and get stuck there. Mm -mm. That's not what happened. So somebody here could have definitely been experiencing like attack, an attack from a friend, family member, lover, or whomever who was carrying that narcissistic Jezebel type of spirit. Somebody was hoping that they were going to pull a person away from their destined path or perhaps from another person by pulling them back in with the chaos and the confusion to blind them so that they would get stuck and have to repeat a karmic cycle and before you know i took my little short hi hiatus that's what i always say when you're dealing with like an eclipse season just as quickly as you detach from those energies and they're cleared out you still have to in your own mind space be comfortable with not allowing them to retach as soon as those energies detach and they're cleared out when you open the doors and the portals to them again they come right back until you really make the decision that you're done with it once and for all somebody here has po possibly been on an ongoing cycle maybe eight nine years karmic cycle seven eight nine years where they've been letting something happen over and over they've been letting the same person back over and over Somebody finally woke up and said no. They 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 come to the realization that there is a person or a thing in their life that has been holding them back. And, and holding them back, really, I feel, on purpose. Somebody didn't get caught. All systems are about. Somebody tried to shut the system down to confuse someone. It's like somebody wanted there to be a blackout so somebody couldn't see. The lights came on. Somebody was saved by the bell. The lights came on right at the right time. Because somebody's like, no, I see this for what it is. I'm not going back. <laughs> Good job. So now we have justice. Look at that. Justice. Four of pentacles and the death card. Exactly. And what did I say about those three people? This is a teamwork, a collaboration of a lot of different dark entities, spirits, or whatever that have been working y'all I, I can't make this up hold on <laughs> you have the tower card here with the death and the justice something here is a it's over it's a wrap it's 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 the final it's just over the tower the death card the justice card four of pentacles somebody if there was some type of binding spell contract or 
any type of spell work, magic, manipulation that was done to bind someone in a contract, it's over. There's a contract here. It's completely null and void. Why? Because, listen, somebody here, three of pentacles, two of wands, you have the empress here and then the emperor. This is about a partnership. It's two people here who are destined to be married. This has already been approved by God. But somebody has to put a death to their old self in order to walk into this new beginning. And what's behind it is a ten of pentacles. And then the star and the tower. This is like earth shattering type of energy. And I said that in the reading yesterday. It was like Isis, Osiris, Horus, Jesus, <laughs> Mary, Joseph. Everybody was in their reading yesterday. Whatever you, whatever story you resonate with, but these divine beings, chosen ones, especially these twin flames, they're going to have their day. This is their time. And people, like I said, it was a blackout. The enemy tried to strategically plan a blackout in hopes that people would be in the dark, be confused, and go through a period of famine where you will go back to your oppressor, that Jezebel spirit. And you would then miss out on the opportunity to have your actual divine contract or your divine spouse or whatever it is that you're seeking. That didn't work for a lot of people. I'm not going to, everybody watching this, some people, some people didn't get saved by the bill, but a lot of people did. Whatever kind of binding contract is there, it's over. The scales have been balanced. It is indeed destined for someone to have a great deal of stability love financial abundance wealth spiritual wealth spiritual inheritances this is your birthright and it's your birthright from you being truly authentic someone has has gotten their contract back because somebody tried to steal your soul or your contract you've gotten that back look at that can you believe I, you don't see um the emperor and the empress come out like that together very often but just look you have the emperor, the empress, the two of wands. These two people, they're coming together saying, listen, we have work to do. And it's being led and it has been ordained by God. Yes, this emperor and this empress, they can come together and share their life together. It has been approved for these people to have a collaboration. It's the three. It's the emperor, the empress, and God. They are All three of them are now co-creating for a, a, a destiny. And there's nothing that anybody can do about it. So what God did is said, well, just to make sure that nothing else comes in the way, I need you to, to put a, a, an end to the old version of yourself. Also, someone here has been dealing with the situation where there was, of course, a Jezebel spirit, like a counterfeit person, someone that you thought was, you know, um, a healthy soulmate or a twin flame for you. That, um, that period of dealing with... The confusion should be over. You, It should be very clear to you now that someone in your life was not your actual God or dang spouse. Something about that contract was false. And you need to let it go. So for some of you, you have to go through a lot of warfare, especially in the past few months. Um, so that you could go back and see that the only reason why a person was in your life or around you was because they were contracted. And I, I've, I've studied the Jezebel spirit a lot the last few weeks. And um, I either heard it or I read somewhere someone said the Jezebel spirit works on contract, not on love, which, of course, is just like any any person that you deal with is very narcissistic. There is no real love or empathy there. It's all a show. Somebody here is you should know by now that you were dealing with people, whether it was a friend, family member or lover or all of the above. They were contracted, meaning they were karmic. They were contracted to show you some type of false love because it was a part of your journey to learn the truth about real love and loyalty so now you can actually go into a, a, a connection that is approved by god and it's, it's being protected by your angels because you really know what it means to have true unconditional love where it's not rooted in guilt shame codependency or being abused by narcissists These people had a lot of divine... Look, see, now the earth angels get to rest. You get to rest. You get to heal. You get to retreat because you transmuted this energy. You've put a, a death to the version of yourself that allowed you to be in a contract with these people. So you, you finally 
broken out of a karmic contract. You're not held anymore by your friends, your family, or your lovers. You, you get to be completely free. This is amazing. Somebody wanted you juggling, though. They wanted you to juggle and have hardship. And I'm telling you, there was a lot that was done to try to convince you that wherever you are supposed to be going is not where you're to go. But literally here, while you had cults, covens, and groups of witches, wizards, warlocks, or whatever working against you, God and his angels were working for you. You literally have the Hierophant here. And this Hierophant with the Empress and the Emperor being here, these are, uh, I always talk about, these are world leaders. These are people who, you, people will know you. They will know your story. You will be able to share your, your test trials, your tribulations, your testimony will be inspiring to, to whomever, whether it's just your friends, your family, or to the masses of people. But you first had to realize that, yes, you were contracted to be in something that was trying to demonize you. And you're a whole earth angel. That's over with those seven of pentacles. It's time to get back to work. Whatever you're working on now is just beginning. It will take some time, but at least you know that your system isn't broken down. All systems are a go. It's all gas, no brakes now. Yikes. Told you. The temperance. This has a lot to do with patience. And some of you, that was the whole point. Do you really have patience? Have you mastered that as a, as a real, like, do you really know that patience is a virtue? Because somebody here has been working very hard and very long to try and get to what may seem like the finish line. But what you think is the finish line is actually your beginning. You're at the finish line of something karmic. You're beginning your birthright, your destiny now. So there's still more work to be put in and you're going to continuously have to be patient, loving, caring, kind, you know, forgiving. You can't hold on to anything or anyone that no longer serves you. I talked about this three or four months ago, renouncing yourself from, from covenants, from pacts, agreements. Even if you come from a very karmic family, you have to say, I, I can't be represented by my family anymore because I'm not trying to start that same family. Four of Swords, it still came out with the Temperance card. Take time out to rest. While this cycle is wrapping itself up, take time out to rest. The success is guaranteed. Six of Wands and the Chariot. You're guaranteed to have success. You're guaranteed to move forward. You're guaranteed to have, you, you may be fantasizing at this point, or you should start fantasizing and visualizing about this Ace of Pentacles because it's, it's really about to fall right into your lap. You're going to have a lot of different options. That four of pentacles too, because you were somehow bound to these contracts, whether knowingly or unknowingly, these karmic contracts, it probably had um, a hold like on your finances or your love life. This seven of cups is here with the ace of pentacles saying you're about to receive blessings and abundance. That's going to overflow. You're going to have a lot of different options in love. You're going to have a lot of different um, business opportunities. The things that you've been dreaming of, that when you saw something moving forward and then all of a sudden it was like, boom, this sweet dream turned into a nightmare. That's all about to reverse now. See, all systems are go. So whatever Mercury did, that energy now, everything, the, the jagged lines are being made straight. King of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. You see, there's a lot of truth and clarity here. Judgment, King of Swords and the Judgment card here. This also is the energy of Archangel Michael. And then here I have the Queen of Swords. Wow. And then the Four of Wands here. There's a couple here that is for sure being heavily, heavily watched, monitored, and protected. I would say by the angels, especially like Archangel Michael here. You see it. I, I'm, I'm getting to for some of you, even when you feel like you are getting off course here, there's like a past life connection here. You can't go wrong with the four of wands. Look at this. And the two of cups is together. And everybody is watching and monitoring this connection, trying to see what is going to happen. Many people are watching it to sabotage it. But it's not going to happen because every time someone tries to sabotage, it, it's like there's a trumpet that's blown. Archangel Michael is here to... It's like God has already ordained something for your life. So Archangel Michael is always surrounding whatever this opportunity or this connection is. 
and the source here has something to do with your connection to the divine. You and another person, you have a very, very strong, um, it's a strong connection between the two, these two people, but your channels are very strong too. Um, I have a friend who is, I have a friend who is into astrology and, um, she said something to me about Sagittarius. She said, God speaks to, to Sagittarius. And that's true. That temperance card is here. Somebody here could, um, somebody can just hear the voice of God very well. And interestingly enough, I had a Sagittarius talk to me a few days ago about the great importance of um, Pentecost Sunday. And if you, you know, if you know, obviously that's like pretty much when all these different people who were, you know, speaking many different languages and everything else, they talk about the tongues of fire where everyone was pretty much able to hear the Holy Spirit. I think it's like, what, 50 days after Easter um, where like the Holy Spirit is pretty much like over everybody. Like everybody was able to hear and I kind of feel like that's the thing now. It's like divine feminines, divine masculines, those who are chosen. You know, people speak of the 144,000. They're able to hear the voice of God very clearly. And everybody will say, if you are a child of God, then you will always hear God. You will truly hear when God speaks. So these orchestrated periods of darkness by the enemy for them to shut down your channel, it did not work. Because God overrides any system. And that's the problem with people here, you know, in, in earth, on earth, in the matrix. They really feel like they can control it. If you're tapped into God, it does not matter. All systems can, can go down. You will still hear the voice of God. Those who are truly chosen for a certain path, no matter what, since the beginning of time, because of your connection to the Most High, you will prevail over whatever that somebody tries to send your way. And that's what people don't understand. And with these twin flame and soulmate connections that are coming in, into union very soon, people have watched and they've monitored things to figure out how could they... Look, eight of wands, how could they send chaos and conflict? It doesn't work because it's a contract that nobody can actually block or stop or change. The contracts that could actually be changed are the ones that were karmic that were never meant to be anyway. You were just under the illusion that you were meant to be in certain families, certain friendships, and certain relationships because it was there to teach you. You have a brand new contract here and it's spiritual and it's extremely sacred with the high priestess being here. So for you and someone else, with the king and queen of swords here, you both can hear God, clearly. God whispers, and, and if you know, God always shows up in the midnight hour, so the blackout was necessary. Thank you for the blackout, because what they did is they actually made your connection to the Most High much stronger. If, if, if it seemed like the angels or like God was whispering to you before, he's screaming at you now. You can't miss his voice. Because God is like, let me, let me turn it up a notch. You want to shut the system down? I'm going to turn it up a notch. These are sacred unions that are protected. The, the passion new beginning is guaranteed. So don't allow yourself... Like I said here, there's the delay that came, being wounded, almost feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it. No, because here in the future position, the Knight of Cups is here with the star and you are going to make it. But again, this tower needed to happen because you needed to know who was sending you this jealousy, this conflict, and this envy. You needed to know exactly who these narcissistic people are that carry this Jezebel spirit. Like I said in the reading yesterday, especially because there's so much being highlighted with divine unions. Any person that is truly destined, this is my opinion, for an incredibly blessed union, you will battle the Jezebel spirit. 100%. Males and females. The spirit is there to orchestrate chaos. It is going to shape shift it's going to web lies it's going to assassinate your character it's going to turn you against everything the whole point is that it is there to spiritually assassinate you 
to silence you, to get rid of you, to stop you from going on to the star, to stop you from becoming the star, to stop you from being with the star, whatever it is, it has an agenda and everything in your life, you, you should be praising God right now because it should be very clear now that you have a promise that God has promised you something if you've had to battle this type of energy this this entity every person does not have to battle like a Jezebel spirit like this especially not to the degree that some people have because the truth is, is that they've been called but they weren't really chosen or they may have been chosen, but they didn't answer the call. The way you can try to transmute some of this energy is to look at it and say, wow, if I'm going through this much, then it has to be something on the other side of this. Has to be. Everybody has been watching and waiting to see, are you going to actually figure out who you are and are you going to receive God's promises or whatever these offers are? And the point was to get the offer out of your cup. So if you made it, then you should sit back, relax, continue working, of course, but don't, don't worry, don't fret. Walk by faith and not by sight. You're good. You see some people who get married very early in life where for one maybe they they don't carry the karmic debts that other people carry which is a blessing right but some people hold on because i'm saying something wait a minute i'm gonna come back to that some people like i'm saying some people get it seems like their life is so easy for one it could be because they've had healthier people for, as, as family members and friends around them that have affirmed them and they don't carry the same karmic debts as other people. But also some people go into marriages and it seems like everything is all good and it's great or they start businesses or whatever, but they have no real self-identity. You don't gain your own identity and awareness without learning some lessons not to say that lessons have to always be tragic and and traumatizing but some people are happy to not actually reach a certain level of self-awareness and often and, and i'm not saying that every person that's not super spiritual or whatever that they're not self-aware but i'm just saying you see people those of you who are worried about time, don't worry about the time. That's the point I'm, I want to make here. Enjoy the journey. Don't, because you already know that the destination here is the star. You, it, God is constantly telling you, you're going to go to where you need to go. Just, just relax right now. I had a friend that told me the other day, a, a, a Sag actually. He said, right now, certain things can be done when I'm driving the car, but right now, life is driving me. And it really hit me because I was like, what? <laughs> you know, he's, and he said, he's like, it's like being in an electric car. It's like being in, you know, like a Tesla, a self-driving car. Well, once God has turned on a GPS and told you where to go, you need to just sit there and, and, and ride. When you reach your destination and God says, now you can put your own address in then you start driving. But right now, a lot of people, you need to allow yourself to just be driven by God. Just surrender. You had to defeat this entity first. Here it is. Yes, it was for sure an entity. Whether it came from a friend, family member, or lover, you had to get rid of this before. Look. You could enjoy the Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. Before you can enjoy everything that you've hoped for, prayed for, manifested and desired for so long, you have to see the importance of walking away from what does not serve you. Walking away from people who carry a certain type of energy that does not resonate with the essence of who you are as a person. This is a lot of strong greed. Manipulation, seven of swords, three of swords, nine of cups, overindulging, 
This is Jezebel. She wants to hold on to feminines and masculines, any type of divine, majestic being. The Jezebel spirit wants to hold on to it, overindulge in its energy, and then get that person to pretty much attack itself and, and, and forever live in heartbreak and pain. You're being freed from this, or your person is, or both of you. So this is great. It's truly, truly amazing. Let's see. Deep knowing, happy, happy. You have to have a deep knowing that you're going to be happy. You have to hold on to that, cling to that. The enemy is going to always attack. Message in a bottle. Deep knowing, message in a bottle. Your channel gives you clarity. Where you have a deep knowing, you're connected to the most high. There's always going to be some type of message or a messenger just for you. Like I said, even when the system is down and it's a blackout, all power, God is always going to get a message to you if you're tapped in. Community. Number eight. A change in the wind. Ooh. Building blocks. Hmm. New life. I'm getting two different. I'm seeing a dark situation here and a situation of the light. I'm seeing both. Literally simultaneously. Which lets me know it's something being done behind the scenes. And then you have here by the book. This is a marathon. It's not a race. Okay. Because you hear, have here go the distance, happy, happy. Something here was hidden. Okay? Something has been hidden. All the glitters is not gold. For one, I'm seeing two different situations. And let me explain them both. Because all the glitters came out with the Yang card. All the glitters with this Yang card, this masculine energy. You need to be careful of what you choose to, where you choose to build blocks and how you choose to build them. Everything that you see is not always what you get. And sometimes it is. You have to be discerning. Some people have had to come to the realization that you've been racing to get something done. And this could even be your enemies. Racing to get something done in hopes of having a new life where they will be happy walking in your essence and in your energy. And they're coming to realize that all that glitters isn't gold. See, a lot of people, and I say that everybody wants to be divine and chosen until it's time to really start doing the work. Everybody isn't cut out this lifetime to break generational curses and, and be legacy builders. That's not everyone's role. Some people are supposed to be narcissists. That's what they signed up to be. So let them be who they are. Let them do what they do. But this community here, there's going to be a change in the wind here with a community. Because I feel that a lot of you, for you to have a new life, you've been patient. You've been kind. You've stuck to the most high and you've done things by the book. You were able to recognize that something here was false. Meaning it was going to be faulty in your life. You took the long way home. You didn't sell your soul. So yeah, you get to be happy. But there's a group of people who have been in the background... Who, like I said, they wanted things the quick way. They were very much stuck in the matrix doing things, you know, serving old, good old Satan, the earthly God, not caring about the truth, the, the most high. 